One of the downsides or the disadvantages to the Carlson Survey embedded product is the lack of customization. For a lot of clients, this is irrelevant. It never comes up. There are a small portion of clients who actually have legitimate cause uh, to need to customize and need to have the ability to run custom list routines. The rest of the clients who need it or at least think they need it never really get into the commands that are in there to see that a lot of the list routines that they've written or a lot of the customization they've done is already built into the, the program. So there, there's a mix of, uh, you know, you're never going to see it. Uh, some of it's mental. You think you have to have these things and then the legitimate, you know, we really have to have this. And it's figuring out where you are in that mix that uh, really makes the product either go or stop. A couple of the things that I've seen uh, in list routines are manipulating text. Uh, for example, I'll take these two pieces of text here and under the edit menu I'll do text and I'll rotate the text. <clears throat> I can do it by a twist screen, by an azimuth, by an entity, by a follow, or by a pick. And I'm going to do an entity because what I want these objects to do is I want uh, that line to be followed by that text. Same thing here, I'll pick that line uh, and that piece of text. Now because of the way this line was drawn, the direction of that line, this one came in uh, upside down. So we could go back in and we could do uh, text and we could do flip selected text and just like that my text is flipped over. Now there are a dozen ways you could have done that same command but that's you know, just one. Over here we have a bunch of text that's scattered all about and what I want to do is under the text menu I want to uh, actually line up these text entities and I either can have them lined horizontally or vertically. I'm going to do a horizontal. I pick my point. I pick the objects and then bam all of my text entities are lined up based on their insertion point. So if some of them are middle center, some of them are bottom left, top right, you know, you're going to see different, uh, different results there. So you have all kinds of options in here for uh, text. Uh, changing, same thing, changing attribute styles, elevations, block inserts, you have your basic uh, uh, AutoCAD change functions and you do have the ability to create custom toolbars so while I may not be able to go in and customize a quick key so that PL comes up with uh, you know layer instead of polyline or something crazy I can create custom toolbars we have videos on our website www.carlsonds.com both in the knowledge base and in the secure section that go into that a little bit further Now for a list of the quick keys that are in the program, if you go to help and to the help menu, you can go to the introduction and look at the quick keys and you can see the list of the quick keys that are in here. You'll see a lot of the common ones, L is line, uh, PL is polyline for example, uh, and then Z is your zoom. So these are a list of the uh, quick keys that are already inside of the program.